What is going on YouTube? I'm trying something a little bit different. Bear with me. I'm using an iPhone for uh, for this, but I'm going to talk about Alien Covenant, specifically the David character from Alien Covenant. Uh, and I love, by the way, I love the Alien franchise as a whole, even Prometheus. I know a lot of people do not like Prometheus. I am a fan of it. I love the science-y things, everything about it. I love the science, I was going to say science-y shit, but yes, let's say I love the science-y shit behind it. And I've always wanted to know where the aliens came from, all that good stuff. Okay, anyway, uh, there was a prologue that they released on, uh, I believe it was right a day before Alien Day. And in this prologue, they talk about what happened exactly after Prometheus, like the in-between time. And, uh, it, you know, you see Shaw. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen it already. If you haven't, check it out. It's really cool. It's really, uh, it's really cool. But I'm not going to talk about the whole thing. I just want to talk about in the prologue, when he puts Shaw to sleep, there's something I noticed when he said, he was alone. He said he did some more research. I'm guessing he found something on the uh, on the space jockey ship, and he uh, got more information about them and uh, their ways. And I'm wondering if he had he had a linear linear point of view, like he was on board with Shaw, and he was going to take her to the um, uh, he was going to take her to uh, paradise, which is the um, their home world. So, did he change his mind because he's seen something in maybe an old video recording and he understands why the, uh, why the engineers were gonna do what they did, like wipe the slate clean, and he says, and he kind of decided, okay, you know what, I understand. I can be that God character. I will take the, I will take charge. So, while Shaw's sleeping, he, you know, took it upon himself to, uh, deliver the vases to uh the what we assume to be the uh engineer's homeworld or some engineer homeworld human types or whatever whatever you want to call them but uh it's just a quick you know like i said i'm just shooting the shit it's just something i want to go and get out there it's kind of a cool little theory i'm thinking maybe uh, maybe he's just doomed to think like this to think like uh, to think like one of us, to try to be like one of us. But I love talking about this, and I want to talk about more, you know, maybe in the comments section that you guys can give me your thoughts and opinions, and I just want to get this video out there. Maybe something he's seen in the Juggernaut uh, recordings changed his mind, thought, or process, I'm all over the place, his, changed his mind, and maybe he understood the engineers a little bit more, and he wanted to become like them, and better than us, and a, more of a godlike figure. But that's uh, that's about it. But that's all I have for today. Like I said, it was just gonna be a quick video. I just want to go and get this out there because of Alien Day. Uh, tell me what you guys think in the comment section. We could talk down there. I'm gonna try to get more content like this out if I can. I've been really busy lately because you know kids, uh, work, and uh, home life is just it's, it's stressful. Anyway, thank you guys so much. Subscribe for more content like this. I have more of this coming out hopefully. And thank you guys for uh, listening. Uh, oh, and by the way, happy Alien Day.